So now we have our content up, our site's pretty much ready to go, but there is some final tweaks we want to make to it. So let's jump over um, to our demo blog here. And the first thing we want to do is add, um, let me look at the exact site, you know, we want to add some widgets over here. So that's the first thing we want to do. So to do that, we simply go to Appearance, Widgets. And what we want to add is our uh, recent posts and also our categories. You just simply drag and drop them over. Now for our recent posts, I'm going to name mine Sleeping if I can type sleeping bag reviews and I'll just set this to 20 you know we want all of our reviews to show um, so if you have more if you get to the point where you have more than 20 you can up that but I'll put it as 20 for now and then for categories uh, I'm gonna put sleeping bag brands because all my categories are going to be the specific brands and I will save that and that's pretty much all you have to do for that if I jump back over here and refresh now we have our sleeping bag reviews and we have the one review posted and we have our sleeping bag brands and that's posted over here as well. Now one other thing with um, Headway is it puts a lot of um, you know a little link to them down here and some other um, just kind of junk down there so let's get rid of that. So to do that we just simply go to Headway and I'm going to go to the visual editor. And I will let that load up here. Um, and I'll just leave that as it is. And now we want to go to um, manage. And if I scroll down to the bottom here, uh, let me get rid of this over here. If we just hit this little options tab, um, this will pop up. So now I can get rid of the admin link. I can get rid of the go to top because I don't really need that. I'm going to choose to hide the headway attribute. And we can also put a um, custom copyright. So for my custom copyright, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to post it down here into the custom. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the date because I don't want to have to change that every year. And then see how it says best sleeping bag reviews? I actually want that to be a link back to my homepage because so it's going to give us a little, uh, you know, a little internal link, a little SEO help. So I'm just going to put in the href tag, uh, link to my homepage, and then close it out. And if we look at this now, now we have a link to our homepage. So I can just simply save that. And you can see it kind of got rid of you know all that other junk that was down here. So if I go back and I refresh the page, and it is still showing for some reason. Let me try saving that again. And for some reason it doesn't want to. Um, oh, okay, I didn't click on the. You got to hit edit here. I didn't actually bring that page up to edit. Um, so let's try that again. I'm going to click on this little options tab and just do the same thing. Save that. And I will refresh. And now you can see we have a nice clean footer with a link back to our site. So in case you didn't catch that, I didn't, I didn't uh, choose to actually edit the page. Um, so now that is cleaned up. You can also choose to add a custom header up here. You know, instead of having just words, you can go have a header made. And to do that, you would simply go back to the visual editor. Um, and now we would choose the options for the header. And you could just simply see header image, choose image. So I could just click that and add my own um, image for the header. Now, now a good place to get a header made, um, you know, for cheap is over on Fiverr. Let me shrink this a tad. Um, so if we just simply go into the search box and hit header, you can see there's going to be a ton of people who will design you a professional header for five bucks. So again, very cheap to do. You know, it's not necessarily needed. Um, it does make the site look a little nicer, a little more professional. So that is up to you if you want to do that. So now our site is all set and ready to go. You can see, especially with Headway, it's a very clean layout. There's not a lot distracting 
people because again all we want them to do is read our reviews and click on our links one other thing that I kind of noticed right now is our hyperlinks are the same color as the text I usually like them to be blue it makes them stand out a little more if I just come over here and go to design and then I'm going to edit the content here so I click the little options tag and I want to go to uh, display nope if I change that to editor here I can go to content and then I have body hyperlinks and I can go ahead and change the color which I'm going to do 0000FF which is kind of the standard um, hyperlink color and if I save that you can see now it made my hyperlinks that nice blue color um, which is what I was hoping for so if we refresh that you can see now we have our hyperlinks a nice blue kind of makes them stand out a little more uh, makes people more likely to click them um, one other thing I might want to clean up I might want to get rid of when this was posted on um, just because if you have this site up for a while you know for me on a sleeping bag review site um, reviews and sleeping bags really aren't this you know emerging technology where they're going to change you know rapidly so chances are I'm never going to have to really edit these reviews but I don't necessarily want people thinking the reviews are outdated um, so it is a good idea I could just get rid of all of this here you'll also notice I have if we scroll down um, it says comments are closed I don't really like to have comments on these just because if people start leaving random comments they can kind of dilute the relevancy of your page if they're writing um, you know even if they're writing their own reviews it kind of throws off um, the content on your page so I do have those turned off but we might want to actually go ahead and get rid of you know the posted on and posted by admin because we don't want them to seem uh, outdated so if I go back in my visual editor and I'll just go to manage and again I want to edit this um, main content here and if I go let me scroll this over a little bit here if I go to meta I can see I have the uh, meta above content if I just click on that to edit it I can just go in and delete that out hit save again and we can refresh the page and now it's gone um, so that's really all there is to it. it's pretty cleaned up now um, we can also remove this sorry comments are closed um, not really necessary um, so again we have our whole site pretty much done and ready to go so again now you just want to keep adding your content and now we'll move into the next phase which of course is starting to get backlinks for our site so we can start getting traffic and start making those commissions